Well, hi guys, this is N1CY, and we're going to talk about a radio that I acquired recently. It's an ICOM ID881H, and this is a D Star radio. Um, it will also do analog. It's 50 watts VHF UHF, one band at a time. And again, it's a D Star radio that's ICOM digital voice mode. And um, it's a really neat radio. Now we're going to compare this radio uh, very briefly here to the uh, Yesu uh, brother, which is the FTM100DR, which we have displayed over here. And this is a, uh, a C4FM FDMA. C4FM Yesu Fusion and also will do analog. Um, now this radio has the uh, built-in GPS receiver and a micro SD card slot. And this is the time in UTC. And uh, this head unit can be mounted remotely from the body of the radio which is down here. This is the body of the radio. Again, 50 watts VHF UHF has a fan on the back of it. That's the speaker up here. Um, extensive heat sink. Um, and this is the mic for the uh, for the Yesu. This head unit also can be mounted remotely. The extension cable comes with the radio. You can mount the uh, head unit remotely. Now this is the microphone which is just like the uh, Yesu you can do a lot of stuff from the microphone. You can change the power output um, 5, 15 and 50 watts low, medium and high and then you can input the frequency directly into the radio scan up and down has a function 1, function 2 for the buttons and you could do a lot of stuff. You could uh, put a PL tone. You could uh, control shift direction. Uh, you could do a lot of stuff from the microphone remotely. One feature I like is you can set the mics when you push to talk. It will stay, you know, pushed. And then when you're so you don't have to keep your finger pressed here. And when you're done, you just press it again and it will disconnect. So that's a really cool feature. Um, the radio is well constructed, has a fan on the back of it. Um, I really like the uh, output audio. You have two level of mic gain adjustment, low and high. Whereas with the FTM100, the Yesu radio, you have more uh, mic adjustments for the gain, for the deviation. But anyway, this radio does not have a GPS receiver and it doesn't have a micro SD card, but right now it's on sale for an incredible value. I highly recommend that you look into it if you want to get involved with uh, D Star. Now, D Star, the infrastructure is phenomenal. It has really humongous infrastructure, many reflectors and gateways. You can talk all over the globe. Now, the Yesu Fusion system is in its infancy, but it's taken off in a significant curve, so it's gaining more popularity. Um, differences between Yesu Fusion, FDMA, and ICOM D Star is the following. Uh, Yesu Fusion is wider, faster baud rate, has forward error correction, you have a uh, voice in data mode and only enhanced voice mode. Uh, D Star is narrower spectrum wise, narrow, narrower bandwidth, no forward error correction. Um, and uh, it has a slower baud rate than Yesu Fusion C4FM. 
Again, D star is A M B E, and Yesu is F D M A. So different modes of digital voice, basically. So um, those are the most popular uh, within the ham community, the amateur radio community. But there's other modes like Moto Turbo or DMR, and we have a Moto Turbo radio that I've uh, talked about in my previous videos, the Titera. Start radio here. It's too dark. I don't know if you can see. And this is the Yesu C4FM handheld, the FT1, FT1D, which is a really nice radio. So anyway, guys, um, we're listening on D-Star repeater right now. Not much activity going on, but I want to show you a couple of things. Um, it's kind of uh, complex how you program a repeater, and it's highly recommended that you download the ICOM software and program the radio through a computer and they have a list of all the D-Star repeaters especially the ones you know if you live in a certain area you can find the nearest one to you uh, so anyway it's basically um, you gotta program your call sign in the radio just like the Yesu uh, but you also have to register with the D-Star uh, network and if you register with the D-Star network you'll be able to get into access a gateway and connect to faraway reflectors um, of course it uses the internet as the backbone for all this communication just like the Yesu Wires X network it uses the uh, internet and also Moto Turbo or DMR also uses the internet as the backbone so anyway um, let's briefly show you what happens here when you program the steps so you go in here you press the arrow here let's try and get this in focus you are and it's CQ 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 okay so you can you can if you want to change it you can go deeper into the menu and change it um, there could be different things to link or unlink the repeater too. Go back here, rotate the dial. Repeater 1. Repeater 1 is when you want to talk on the local repeater. And it's WB6BA, which is a club call. Okay. Repeater 2 is the same repeater, but in this command uh, stream, you want to go you want to connect to a reflector or go through a gateway so again it's WB6BA but it's gonna take you to a gateway now um, go back here this is your call sign my call and here we have N1CY and if you wanna edit you go in deeper and you can edit the call you have eight characters you could do like slash 880d or something but anyway you get the idea um, so anyway um, and then you press menu to exit so let's put a call and see what happens N1CY so that's actually good we got a reply from the repeater with the repeater call sign okay N1CY anyone listening N1CY okay we are getting through the repeater and it looks like the repeater is connected to some kind of a gateway but we're not getting a hold of anyone so uh, <clears throat> hopefully I'll make another video where we can actually make a contact and you can listen to the audio on D-Star, the digital audio it doesn't sound as good as analog and uh, that the same goes for the C4FM or Moto Turbo analog still sounds the best 